A German mother has sparked controversy by posting a video on Facebook after finding out that her son was one of only two German children in his kindergarten in the city of Essen. In it, she says, he feels like a foreigner. In the group of my son, there are 25 children. There are 25 children in my son's group. Two of them speak German. The others don't speak German at all. Is it integration if 23 children have fun with each other while my son doesn't understand them and can't find any way to connect with them? Is it integration if my son has to adapt to them? My son and I feel like foreigners here. Is that what you want, dear politicians? Is this integration, that other children seemingly don't have to adapt because they understand each other? And now my son has to adapt to these other children. This is not integration, dear politicians. The parents of Mohammed or Ali, or whatever they are called, do not have to complain. She also stressed that she's not blaming the children in the daycare center or their parents for the situation. Later, she apologized for her comments but decided not to delete the video because it did end up going viral. Of course, I didn't expect such a storm of reaction. I made this video at a very emotional moment. I just wanted to share my frustration and never expected two million people to watch it. I can only speak for myself. It's a big problem in my city, but many people have written to me and I learned that it's a countrywide problem, not just regional. Of course, I believe that integration is very important, but my son has no opportunity to develop. He should speak more German, adapt to our culture, and it doesn't work when there are almost no Germans. The city has set this group up and mixed the children incorrectly. And as a result, we'll end up with lost children. No one speaks German, no one can integrate. And this loss is on both sides. I can see it in my son. Officials from the SN kindergarten said that this is a special additional group created by the city due to the lack of places in kindergartens. Uh, German, they insist, is still a common language and children just need time to adapt. Earlier, we spoke to uh, Bian Travasoli from Germany's uh, left party. He thinks that the mother should look at the uh, situation from another angle and consider it as an advantage for her son. She has a very narrow-minded approach and I don't want to judge her, but I don't know whether she has experienced other cultures. And I think that's where her son, who's going to this kindergarten, has an advantage because he gets to know other cultures and other languages at an early age, That an opportunity that she apparently didn't get. There's not only children in kindergarten, there's educators, German educators as well. And it's their role to teach the children German language and German culture. But I think children can also learn from each other. Nowadays in Germany, we're not a country where only one language is spoken in the streets and where we only have one culture and one cuisine. We have all different kinds of cultures. And in 20 years, when those children will be participating in the labor market, things will have changed even more.